Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Mom Boss Monday. Thank you for being here. So we all want to be more efficient, more productive with our time. But do you know that this productivity app market is a big one? There are a lot of apps that are put out on the market every single month, every day, I'm sure. But if your goal is to keep it simple and use the least amount of apps possible, Trello and Evernote are a great start. They're awesome for business, but just practical everyday life stuff as well. And today, I'm gonna lay it all on the table for you, tell you exactly what each app is good for, show you some examples of how I use it in my everyday life. So let's get to it. Okay, I'm gonna start off by telling you exactly what Evernote is, why I love this app, and then I'll share three ways I use it in my personal life and three ways I use it in my business. Just like a regular filing cabinet or one of those folders that have a lot of different tabs, except it's digital. You can use it on your computer, your phone, or your tablet or any sort of device. It'll sync across all of them so you can stay on top of your game at all times. And inside Evernote, you can create different notebooks. Inside those notebooks, you can add different notes. And a note can be a document of almost any kind you can think of. It can be a, a regular document like a Word document, a PDF. It can be photos. It can be voice recordings. It can even be handwritten notes. So you can create a notebook for each top level area of your life and then you can add notes inside there to reference to later or just any memories you want to remember for your personal life. It really can be used any way you want. All right, on to three ways I use Evernote in my personal life. So the first way is with my life goals. I have a notebook where I have all my life goals listed out and this makes it so easy to reference back to at any time or anywhere because I have the Evernote app in my phone. And then the second way that I use uh, Evernote for personal purposes is with recipes and meal plans. So I plan my family meals weekly and with Evernote it's so effortless because I can just look up a recipe online and then use the Evernote web clipper to save it to that notebook or I can just copy and paste the link. And then the third way that I use Evernote is for my shopping list or just lists of any kind. Evernote is a note taking app after all and one thing that I, I love about it is the the element, the check mark element so you can just as you get your task done or as you get those shopping items into your basket just check it off you'll never forget a thing. All right, on to three ways that I use Evernote for my business. So the first way is for business ideas. When I'm out and about at the store or with the kids at the park or whatever, if I have an idea for a YouTube video, social media content, my blog, I can easily open up the app on my phone and jot down my idea so that I won't forget it it happens. If you don't write it down, you will forget it. The second way is with my daily schedule. I schedule my tasks hour by hour. This way I make sure I don't over assign myself too many tasks and throughout the day just check them off. That makes me feel so good and Evernote is perfect for this. And then the third and final way is with reading and resource material. So as I'm surfing the web and I come across articles that I would love to come back to at a later date, instead of bookmarking it, knowing I'm never going to go back to it that way, I save the link or even the whole article with the web clipper, with the Evernote web clipper, into a notebook. And this gives me the power to organize all these resources and uh, label them so it'll be easier to find when I need it. I have a couple of tutorials on Evernote that explains all of these things I've been talking about in a lot more detail, so make sure to check them out. All right, so on to what is Trello, why I love this app, and how I use it. So Trello is a project management app. 
In this app, you organize all your projects on a board, and then you separate that board into different lists, which are like different parts of a project, and then you add cards to those lists. In those cards, you can attach your files, your links, and stuff like that. So that's one thing that I love about Trello. You can easily see your project on an entire screen along with the lists and the cards without having to click in and out of notebooks like you do with Evernote. Having a bird's eye view of your entire project will allow you to see your progress from start to finish. Another thing that I love about Trello is that you can easily move cards and lists anywhere on the board by simply clicking, dragging, and dropping. This makes it super simple to organize big projects. All right, so on to how I use Trello. As of right now, I rarely use it for personal purposes and even most of my business activities still take place in Evernote. Trello comes into the picture when I'm ready to birth the project. Like the blog post for this very video, I created a board called Evernote versus Trello. I then created a list for each heading of the blog post and I filled it in with cards of all the points I wanted to cover. I then organized the outline of this blog post by simply clicking, dragging and dropping cards until it made sense. So which of these productivity apps is right for you? Well, they're both really powerful apps in their own rights, but they're really meant for different purposes. Evernote is meant to help you remember everything. It's a place to capture all your ideas and resources, to save all your files of all shapes and sizes. However, that doesn't mean it can't be used as a project management system. I'm sure there's a way around it and it can be done. It just won't be as simple as it is with Trello. Trello's goal, on the other hand, is to help you organize anything together. It is meant to be used as a project management system. It's meant to help you organize and efficiently carry out projects by grouping all these lists and cards together. But that doesn't mean you can't use it to store documents and ideas. But it won't be as simple as it is with Evernote, but it can be done. Both of these apps have unique functions. In some cases, Trello takes the lead. In other cases, Evernote does. So which app is best for you really depends on your needs. If you simply wanna jot down ideas and to-do lists, either app will work, so just pick the one you like. If you run a business, you most likely have a lot of resources to save and data to document. In this case, Evernote is better for you. It's more effective to use notebooks and categorize them and add notes and then you can tag them to find them quickly. If you manage projects on the weekly basis, like blog posts, videos, lives, webinars, or anything that require strategic planning, then Trello is the app for you. And if both of these instances describe you, then perhaps you would benefit greatly by just using both. But if that sounds like too much of a hassle, then you'd have to just pick one and deal with the minor inconveniences that each app will bring regarding some functions. In addition to productivity and project management, there's one more thing that you need to succeed in business and in life, and that's knowing how to win friends and influence people. And that's the topic of next week's video. I'm so excited for it. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification so you will know as soon as that episode goes live if you found value in today's episode, let me know by hitting that thumbs up. This way, I know what kind of content to create in the future. And leave me a comment down below. Let me know which of these two productivity apps will you be using? Are you going to use Trello, Evernote, or do you use something else to manage your time? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments down below. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next Monday, and I hope you have an awesome, fantastic, go-crushing week.